Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, my friends, there is a sweater for every day of the week and there is a sweater for every kind of occasion. So let's talk about some different styles of sweaters, when you should wear them, and how you should wear them. I've got eight different sweaters in total for this video, all different styles, along with 12 different outfit ideas. So if it's inspiration you're after, you've come to the right place. I'm Brian Sakawa. This is He Spoke Style, advice and inspiration to help you dress well, develop your personal style, and be more confident. This video is sponsored by Proper Cloth, and all the sweaters I'll be featuring in this video are Proper Cloth sweaters. Now, a lot of you are probably already familiar with Proper Cloth. It's a brand that's really well known and well regarded in the menswear space, particularly for their luxury materials, quality construction, and exceptional fit. Custom shirts have sort of been Proper Cloth's bread and butter for a while. Uh, they've really worked hard to refine their process with their smart sizes technology. And that has made it faster and easier than ever to order high quality custom shirts that are perfectly tailored for you. In addition to shirts, Proper Cloth also has a large selection of pants, sport coats, suits, and formal wear. Uh, a lot of guys I talked to at Pity this past January were wearing Proper Cloth garments, and I have to say that this stuff looked really fantastic. And now, Proper Cloth has added a knitwear collection. All of the pieces are designed, of course, to be high quality and versatile, both of those things, music to my ears. And as I've gotten to really get to know these garments over the past few weeks, in addition to their versatility, I've been impressed with all of their thoughtful details, superior construction, and just the like effortless, sophisticated sensibility that they have. Not to mention the fit, because that should be the most important thing you look for when you're buying a sweater. Uh, you want it to be a Goldilocks thing, right? Not too tight, not too baggy, not too long, not too short and definitely not uncomfortable. As I said, I'll be showing you eight different sweaters in this video and you can check them all out on the Proper Cloth website. In addition, you can save 10% off your first sweater from Proper Cloth with code BRIAN10. That includes free shipping as well as easy returns if you need to make a change. Send it back within 90 days for a full refund or within 120 days for store credit. Link is down below in the description now. Let's take a look at our eight sweaters. This sweater, the chunky shawl cardigan, is, is honestly the sweater I've been looking for my entire life. It feels super luxurious. It's a very soft, thick blend of merino wool and cashmere. 85% merino wool, 15% cashmere. It has an English rib knit construction with ribbed finishes. Of course, we've got the wonderful shawl collar, two patch pockets, and four buttons, which are made with Italian genuine horn. In terms of styling, the sweater is incredibly versatile, though I have to say that probably my favorite way to wear it is as an everyday around the house sweater, but let's take a look at a couple different ways to style it. Up first, we have what my friends in the UK would call smart. Uh, very simple styling here. White poplin shirt, light gray flannel pants, black tassel loafers, and on my wrist, the JLC Reverso. One thing I wanna mention is that I decided to size up for this sweater. All the other pieces you'll see are mediums, this one is a large, and I did that deliberately. For this type of sweater, I prefer a bit of an oversized fit. Uh, I think you can see that this fits a little looser, but definitely doesn't look sloppy. A sweater like this, I think, should just feel really cozy, kind of like a blanket you're wrapping yourself in. And I think having it slightly oversized really plays into that uh, relaxed feel that it projects. Here, I have it styled much differently, very casual, uh, and this is sort of the around the house thing I was talking about. Underneath the sweater, I've got a heathered oatmeal t-shirt wearing untucked, paired with some slightly worn in selvage denim, white common project sneakers, and Cartier tank American on the wrist. The sweater gives this very casual look, a bit of an elegant and sophisticated feel, even though it's casual. Uh, when I'm styling it like this, I tend to wear it unbuttoned so it feels relaxed and maybe I'd pop the collar for a little bit of panache. The second sweater is the one I'm currently wearing. This is the Aran turtleneck inspired by the traditional Irish fisherman sweaters. This is a medium heavyweight knit made from a blend of premium Italian yarns, 70% merino wool, 25% mohair, and 5% cashmere. You've got that beautiful and intricate pearl stitch detailing 
and a rib turtleneck, which is a warm and welcome addition to the traditional fisherman sweater. In addition to the beige color I'm wearing, it is also available in navy and a lovely burgundy color. Three different looks here, smart, casual, and sporty, and we'll kick things off with some smart styling. So I've paired the turtleneck with some mid-gray flannel pants, JLC Reverso on a brown strap, and some brown suede chukka boots to sort of play into the workwear heritage of the Aaron sweater. Now, when it comes to sweaters, especially a sweater like this that just looks so interesting, you don't really have to do much other than build the outfit simply around that interesting piece. Having a simple foundation will allow that piece to really stand out and be the focal point. Next, a little more casual. Instead of flannels, I've got a medium blue pair of denim along with some dark brown suede zip-up boots. This is an outfit I would wear on the weekend, you know, maybe just going out to a casual brunch with friends. And then we have the look I'm wearing right now, casual but also a little sportier, swapping out the mid-blue jeans for a lighter pair and the suede boots for some white Common Project sneakers and also bringing out the heavy hitter on the wrist. Next, another piece inspired by the traditional fisherman sweater. Uh, this is the proper cloth Aaron crew neck. Same exact makeup as the previous sweater, merino wool, mohair, and cashmere blend with all of the intricate cabling and pearl stitch detailing. Also available in the same three colors though, I really love it in this deep burgundy for the season. Here it is in a business casual styling. I've layered the sweater over a burgundy striped shirt and paired that with some mid-gray flannel pants, brown suede split toe derbies, and the JLC Reverso to finish it off. I don't think there's a better combination for the season than a cable knit sweater, flannel pants, and suede shoes. There's something sophisticated and effortless about it that really draws people in, even though uh, it's not really in your face. For our fourth sweater, we have a true luxe wardrobe essential, a cashmere turtleneck. It is 100% cashmere, made from premium Scottish Todd and Duncan yarns. It's a company that's been around uh, and in business for over 150 years and fully fashioned construction, available in five different colors. I mean, what can you say about a cashmere turtleneck like this? It's a classic, must have piece, incredibly versatile though, let me show you one of my favorite ways to style it. Now, this is for the guy who complained recently that I haven't been featuring enough suits on the channel. You know, in the colder months, when I think, I wanna wear a suit, I wanna be elegant, I want it to have a sophisticated feel, but still feel somewhat relaxed, this is what I do. Keep it simple. Double-breasted chalk stripe flannel suit, charcoal cashmere turtleneck, black leather tassel loafers, and an effortlessly elegant watch. It's a formula, works every time, no updates necessary. Up next, we have another cashmere essential, the cashmere crew neck. Same specs as the turtleneck. It's 100% cashmere from Todd and Duncan. Super soft and comfortable, very versatile, and available in a wide range of colors on the Proper Cloth website. Here is the first of two outfits featuring this sweater, starting off with something on the smart side. Underneath the sweater, a simple white poplin shirt paired with some brown chinos classic brown cap toes and the Vacheron Traditionnel on the wrist. You know, burgundy and brown is such a great color pairing. One of my favorites, as a matter of fact. They're both muted, earthy tones that project warmth and a subtle luxuriousness. And brown, I think, you know, you don't see enough of. So again, it really stands out in the most unassuming way. Next, toning down the dressiness just a touch for something more in the smart casual realm, swapping out the chinos for some medium blue jeans, adding a plaid flannel sport coat and some pebble grain wingtip brogues. The burgundy sweater really adds a nice splash of color. It adds some depth as a layering piece and really pulls the entire outfit together. Sweater number six is the half zip sweater. This is made from a wool and silk blend, 75% merino wool and 25% silk, which means it's soft, comfortable and lightweight, making it a perfect piece for those seasonal transitions. Details, we have a ribbed collar, cuffs and hem, along with a polished Italian Lampo zipper. Now, obviously, tons of ways to style this particular sweater, but I wanted to do something kind of on the preppy side, and here's what we've got. So underneath the sweater, we've got a classic Bengal striped shirt paired with some khaki chinos and brown cordovan penny loafers. It's very kind of, as they say these days, an old money look. Uh, it's preppy, it's got a dash of sportiness, it's easy, and it's effortless. And it's a reminder that less really is more 99.9% .9 of the time when it comes to classic style. Now, a look like this, you can dress up even more. 
All you gotta do is add a tie and yes, we are now in full prep mode. Next up, we have the full zip cardigan. This particular sweater is made from 100% merino wool. And what I like about this particular fabric is not only that it is very soft and comfortable, but that it has a medium weight to it. So it feels substantial, has a little more structure, which makes it a great alternative to a jacket in those seasonal transitions. Also to that point, it's got two side pockets, which are very practical. Now you can really think of the full zip cardigan as the sportier sibling of the classic buttoned cardigan. And you can also use it as a replacement for a sport coat. And that's exactly what I was thinking when I put this look together. It's a more casual and relaxed approach for, you know, when you wanna be dressed up, but don't necessarily feel like wearing a jacket. Outfit details. Underneath the sweater, I've got a micro stripe OCBD paired with some stone cotton pants, light brown derbies, light brown belt, and Vacheron Traditionnel on the wrist. Definitely more of a springtime vibe here with the lighter shirt and pants. Simple, classic, and very easy to put together. It's a look that never goes out of style. And then we have sweater number eight, the Merino and Cashmere hoodie. Made from a blend of 85% Merino wool and 15% Cashmere. This is not your typical athletic hoodie sweatshirt. It is much more refined, much more mature. We've got that super soft fabric, some beautiful ribbing on the hood, the cuffs and the hem, and of course, the classic hoodie pocket. But this is a piece that I would consider adding if you are looking to develop that grown-up casual side of your wardrobe. And here's how I typically wear this piece. Just layered over a simple t-shirt paired with some light wash jeans, Common Project sneakers, and Speedy with a mesh strap on the wrist. I've got a whole video on how to dress casually as an adult that is linked right up there, but one of the key points I talk about in that video and one of the easiest ways to elevate a casual look, whether you're an adult or not, is to have some of these basic pieces in a more luxe fabric. It's a small change that makes a huge difference in the vibe and outfit projects. It looks more put together, it looks richer, but it also really affects the way you feel. And feeling great, as you know, is really the key to looking great. As I mentioned, there are so many different ways you can style sweaters. And if you're still looking for more inspiration after this video, I've put together a playlist right over there with some sweater specific videos with 20 additional looks that you could try out. Also wanna give a big thanks once again to Proper Cloth for sponsoring this video. Reminder, you can check out their entire knitwear collection at the link in the description, and that you can save 10% off your first sweater from Proper Cloth with code BRIAN10.